Ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again. We got another batch, this time 50, as I mentioned in my last video. And by the way, I removed my Charizards in the background from the set because I honestly I got paranoid. <laughs> I don't like having them out in the background, so I put them back in the, the case that's ultimately end up be going to our PSA in the near future. Hopefully by the time we're done with this batch uh, of this 50 and the next 50, we have more Zars to add to that. And then we'll call it a PSA grade. We'll, we'll have that video come out whenever they get done grading. So yeah. As I mentioned in my last video, in case you didn't see that, I actually bought, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to buy this many, but essentially what happened is after every single opening in the past week, and I guess for you guys, it's over the course of the next couple of weeks, but I'm all doing this in like one week. Um, I basically, every time I, I got, uh, there's nothing in here, is there? Yeah. Just a lichen rock. Just, right, right. Just want to make sure it is. Um, every time I got done doing an opening, I would just buy a batch of packs, a batch of packs, a batch of packs, and they all arrived at the same time. <laughs> So I just have uh, I received 140 packs today and uh, Honestly, like I mentioned in my last video. I, I think I'm done after this. There's something back here. No, there's nothing Is there is there? Nope nothing just a scrafty Okay, don't mind me I might power through some of these packs just because I want to get right into it Cause Let's be real all we care about is seeing the shiny that pops up at the end not little shiny with like the shiny Charizard But I'm talking about the the shiny cool toy in this case. It just happens to be both Charizards but yeah, I think I'm done after this. Um, I mean, my, my opinion might change. I might want to get thirsty, want to do more when I'm done, you know, with these. And these videos are uploaded. And over the course of the future, I see more videos pop up on YouTube. Maybe if I if don't even pull the rainbow, I might want more. Because the thing is, is like I feel like as, as a fan of, of collecting cards, I just want to, you know, I, I want to get the feeling of pulling the, the Hyper Rare Charizard. Because that's like such a victorious moment. And with the lack of rainbow rares, actually, that I pulled... I feel like I might keep going, but at the same time, I guess maybe I'm just assuming that with all these packs that I have in front of me, hey, I'm going to probably pull a Rainbow Charizard and then call it a day. But that's probably something you shouldn't have as a mentality, because like, I've done so many Hidden Fates openings where I didn't get anything. Well, I got like, Shinies, but I didn't pull like, Charizards, that I feel like I shouldn't rely on this many packs and assume that this is going to be enough to pull a card, because it most likely won't be. But then again, I'm going off of what I've seen with other people. I've, at, this, at this point, I would have pulled more car like i would open more packs than like the average person i've seen on youtube pull their charizards now it worked out because i pulled the shiny charizard a lot faster actually and i pulled it not once but three times which i think is uh kind of cool <laughs> it's just a little bit lucky but i haven't pulled the rainbow yet so yeah that's, that's kind of like where we stand at but i feel like because i pulled three and i bought my rainbow finally i feel like i'm kind of just done after this so we'll see how it goes maybe you know you guys can uh i don't know Motivate me to do more. Maybe if you guys enjoy these videos that much, which you seem to have been doing so far with each video going up, I might grab more, but we'll see what happens in the future. How's that? I think that's fair. I think that's absolutely fair. So we'll see what happens. All right. Can we get something good? The last video was... Oh, my... Can I stop with the peers, man? Oh. I have pulled this card three times now. You know, the funny thing is... I So I pulled four rain, uh, three rainbows, actually. I pulled... No, four. Yeah, I pulled Pierce. No, 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 I pulled Pierce twice. I pulled Pierce twice. So this is my third time. And then the other the other rainbow I pulled was actually um, uh, Dreadnought V, right? No, Dreadnought V Max is actually what I pulled. Which is actually a good one to get, so that actually wasn't that bad. But, oh my god! <laughs> with how many... I kind of know there's not a lot of rainbows in this set, but with how many exist, you'd be surprised uh, how many oftentimes I pull the same one over and over again. I, 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 can, you, can you stop? Can you please don't? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I was about to say, my last batch where I pulled 40 packs, I didn't get a single rainbow out of it. And I was going to be like, well, if I don't get a, 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 a rainbow out of it, any of these, I'm going to be kind of upset. Internally. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like, you know what? It's RNG. That's what happens. You buy packs, you're not always going to pull fire. That's normal. You gotta accept that when you get into like card openings or gotchas and stuff like that. Like it's part of the part of the game, part of the experience. But it's not a pleasant one. No one's gonna be all like, "Yeah, man, I pulled nothing. I'm happy." Or I pulled the same super rare card twice and I'm happy. Like no one's gonna be happy about it. Why does pack feel so weird to open? Do we get bamboozled? We did not. Had nothing in it. Just a Hatterene. Just over here and that over there. But I'm tired of seeing Pierce. Pierce is one that I just pulled. Uh, Come on, man. With me nearing pretty much like what 400 packs, pulling Pierce this many times, so it's just uh, it's not, it's not fun. Is what I'm trying to say. I think there's something back here. Let's see what we got? Go slow, go slow. Uh, 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 Guard of our V Max. Actually, I have pulled this one. I have pulled this one. I know I pulled the Guard of our V, but I don't remember if I pulled the V Max. 
yeah. Man, I gotta say it. You know, I, I said this before when Sword and Shield came out. While it was cool that they introduced something new, I'm, I'm not a fan of the whole uh, Gigantamax and Dynamax system that they had. I'm sorry, just evolutions or uh, Mega Evolution was just so cool. They were just so cool to me. And uh, they replaced it with this. It's like, uh, I mean, I guess. Let's do something different. You know, I, I, I give it up to companies that, that try to do new things with their um, game. And in this case, you know, we've seen Pokemon do a lot, especially in the TCG side from, you know, introducing EX cards to introducing um, GX cards and then beyond with stuff like uh, Mega Evolutions and, and, and Dynamax. And I, I guess it's cool that they try new things. I'm just not always going to like everything that they try. You know, also, also don't, you know what also I don't like? If I can actually say my sentences correctly, it's pulling just regular hollows out of the set. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I am so hyped for for Hidden Fates 2. I'm gonna call it Hidden Fates 2 until we get the official English name. But at the same time, I'm also not. Just because I know how rough the set was for me uh, with Hidden Fates last year. Cause I think, so I think what happened was I, I burnt out all my luck. Cause I bought um, Ultra Shiny GX is what it was called in Japan. I bought the box when it first came out and it literally, <laughs> I bought two boxes and the first box I opened, I actually pulled the Charizard in it, which is like crazy. Cause it had the same amount of, uh, of Shinies as it did in the English release set. We might've had more, maybe, I don't really know. But I just know pulling a char Charizard was ridiculous because you, you buy an Ultra Shiny GX box which had 10 packs and you basically would get like one Shiny in a box, right? Well, no, you would get one uh, GX Shiny and then you can get like either one or two of the normal Shinies. And I just happened to get the one box that happened to have the Charizard. After that, I burnt my luck out. So when Hidden Fate Fates came out, it was like, nope, we're not gonna give it to you, Rhyme. Until, of course, I broke my luck uh, when I uh, had uh, one sent to me. Big shout out to uh, everybody that sent me cards. And not only did I, not only did I uh, pull or get the, the Charizard in that opening, but I also ended up pulling one because I also had a uh, a pin set, a pin box sent to me as well. So yeah, that was wild. Hey, Crystal V, full art. Um, but yeah, I feel like once I broke my curse, then it was like, okay, here's the third one, because now I I, got, I managed to get a third one at that point. Uh, and I actually gave, if I remember correctly, I gave one away to charity, and I kept two. Yeah, I still have two right now, I want to say. So yeah, I feel like that's why I, also partially why I bought the Rainbow Rare, because I figured if I buy a Rainbow Rare, I'll just uh, break the curse now, and I have to worry about it. getting one, because like watching everybody get theirs and grading theirs, and I'm like, man, I just want one. I might as well just, you know, take that 500 bucks I was going to spend on packs and just buy the card directly, and then go back to pull in. Because worst case, I mean, best case scenario, I buy one. Ooh, there's something back here. I buy one, and then I pull one. That's how I see it. What you got for me? Something fire? Let's see, let's see another shiny boy pop up. Oh no, nothing. Man, what, what was it that stood out? I think it was the, the energy that stood out. I got excited for nothing. I thought it was gonna be fire opening right there. Let's keep it going. So far, this batch was a lot worse than the last one. Cause the last one I pulled a lot. Of, well, no, not, not, let me not say that because we got a rainbow rare. End of the day, I still feel like I'd rather pull a rainbow rare than many full arts. Unless, of course, we're talking about Charizard Full Arts, in which case, that'd be nice. Dreadnought VMAX! Yeah, this is what I pulled in Rainbow Rare format uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago now at this point for you guys. Last week for me. Last week for me. Okay, let's keep it going. We're about halfway through the second stack, and then we got another batch of 10 packs. So we have about 15 packs left. This is pretty good pacing, I want to say, too. All right, do we have anything back here? Let's just kind of fan this one out. Yeah, we'll fan out some of them just because, like I said, I want to, I want to kind of power through it. You know how much um, willpower it takes for me when I, like, when I get these new packs, and I'm sitting there like, do I even want to record this? I just want to open it right now. I just want to shred everything right now. But if I pull that Charizard, I want to record a reaction. I want to record a reaction and then you know go back to it and rewatch it because I do that to my own videos sometimes. I know it's weird. Me watch my own videos. Look, man, if I won't watch it, who else will? That's how I view it. You have to eat your own cooking sometimes. That's a, that's a life lesson I'm going to give to you guys. No matter what you want to do, if you're not eating your own cooking, what makes you think other people will? A little life lesson. It's mean nothing back here. Yep, just a lichen rock. Lichen rock, lichen rock, lichen rock. But yeah, comment section below. What uh, shiny do you guys want to see in the in the shiny set? The one I want the most, outside of, of course, pulling the uh, the VMAX Charizard, is I wish they would do, would, they would do a shiny Lugia. Them not having shiny Lugia and hidden faces was, was a crime. Hop! Once again, I'm going to uh, full art pile. Yeah, uh, shiny Lugia not being present in hidden fates one was an absolute crime. First of all, that art on that Lugia was great. I'm a big fan of it. But just imagine that card in uh, in uh, shiny format. How beautiful it will be. 
Give me that. So I'm, I'm like really hoping that that happens. Watch this video pop up later at some point in the next year or so, and they actually have that Charizard. And all the comments are gonna be like, Rhyme, Shiny Lugia is in that set. I mean, yeah, I'll know at that point. I don't know right now. Currently, the only card that we know that's uh, confirmed is the, the Charizard and then a couple other Shinies that I didn't really care about. Not knocking them, because I know someone's gonna be excited about the other Shinies, but really, I'm just looking forward to my favorites. But outside of that, I don't know what else I'll want. Hidden Face kind of covered a lot for me. Oh, you know what I would want? Although this is not even available right now in Sword and Shield, is I would love for them to do, um, please bring this back, Pokemon Company. I would love for them to do uh, for Alligator, Typhlosion, and Meganium. He was those shinies as well. I mean, those cards have been, those Pokemon in general have been just absent. You know, second gen to me is by far my favorite. And those Pokemon have been absent. I mean, even in uh, Sword and Shield, they're not even available in the game, which is like a heartbreaker for me. But maybe one day we'll get uh, for Alligator, Typhlosion, and Meganium back, and they'll get, oh, isn't the, uh, the Gen 2 anniversaries coming up? Or like the 25 year, is that what it is, 25 year anniversary? Maybe during that, they might introduce like VMAX and Dynamax versions of Typhlosion and Frogger and, and, and Meganium. And maybe we'll get even the shiny version of those. Now, those cards, I will absolutely go crazy to hunt for. I'm going to tell you right now, I'll probably buy those literally frame one. <laughs> the second they come out, buy a couple copies while they're cheap, <laughs> cheap in air quotes. And then I'll go for the hunt. Um, yeah, that's probably what we're going to have to end up, uh, what, what we have to do. Man, the fandom is about to get crazy. Just so you know where it stands with me. Tomorrow on the 9th of October, right now is the 8th, um, Logan Paul is doing his unboxing for his first edition box. And uh, I feel like after that live stream slash video goes up, it's going to get nutty for the fandom. Like, it's already getting crazy right now. Just even trying to get vintage stuff is wild. But I feel like after tomorrow especially, with that kind of exposure, it's going to get crazy. And I've already said it before. I'm happy that we have people like Logan in the community because he, he's excited about it. Anybody that enters the community that, that's generally excited about Pokemon, like, I will never try to gatekeep from. I think gatekeeping is honestly trash, regardless of what community you're in. And, you know, we discussed this briefly last time, and a lot of people explained, um, you know, if they're for or against it. Uh, like people like Logan coming in. I think it's great. I think it's awesome, you know. I think the only thing that sucks is, is there's certain cards that probably have gotten so expensive right now that, you know, the average collector will not be able to get. But it's like, that was about to happen at some point. That's why I pulled the trigger on so many cards and packs in the past uh, few weeks. Especially the last few, few weeks. Really the last year or so. Because I knew it, they were going to be untouchable one day, you know. Like when I got my, uh, <laughs> when I was hunting Lugia, my Neo Genesis Lugia, nobody even wanted it. I remember I had a bunch of PSA 9s that I sold for like $100 a pop so I can buy more Neo Genesis packs because packs were like 60 a pack. And that's ultimately what, that, what ended up leading to me uh, get the pack where I pulled the right one and uh, it graded as a 10. And I remember at the time, <laughs> the grade itself was like, it, I think it cost me like $75 to get that card graded because it was, wasn't that valuable. I think like a PSA 10 was worth like 1200 bucks. And I, man, looking back at it, I should have bought it. <laughs> I should have bought the one for 1200 bucks. But either way, it goes to show you, like, when I when I hunted the cards that I wanted, I knew eventually, if I didn't get them sooner, like like right now, they were going to be so untouchable. And I feel like right now, if uh, if I didn't get that PSA 10 that I pulled, I would never have one of my favorite Pokemon cards in existence in my own collection. So, saying stuff like, well, I hate, hate it when this fandom gets exposure because, you know, cards become expensive. It's like, that's in inevitable. That was going to happen one day. And the way I also see it is, it makes it more exciting to want to hunt for those cards. If I manage to ever get a PSA 10 first edition Charizard, as untouchable as that card is right now, I would just lose. I mean, I would already lose it, but I would really, really lose it knowing that. Like, I, I mean, I would also panic and have a, probably a panic attack knowing how expensive that card is. But you know, the excitement would be that much more crazy because you just obtained that one card that you never thought you would get. That, that's what that's what collecting is all about. When you finally get that card that you've always wanted and you actually get it, like that feeling is just way too hype, way too hype. So yeah. That said, anybody wants to enter the Pokemon hobby, by all means, I welcome you. In fact, I'll probably be the person that actually tells you what you should buy and push you to buy more of it, like I've been doing with a lot of my friends. <laughs> my friends hate me. It's like, I was messaging my friends, I'm like, hey, you should buy this. And it's like, ah, I'd rather not. No, 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 just do it, just do it, just do it. It's a lot of fun. And they end up doing it and they don't regret it. <laughs> they don't regret it. Oh, man. Let's see what we got. Can I get a Zard? No Zard. Just an Altaria. I'm actually surprised with uh, how many packs I've opened. I think I'm opening right now. For the, the amount of packs I'm opening right now, 
is how many packs it took me to pull almost three shiny Charizards, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, roughly around the same neighborhood. Um, so I'm surprised I haven't gotten a single one yet. But you shouldn't assume. You should never assume. Like I said, it's it's a lot of luck involved. And you could open a thousand packs and walk away with none. So it happens. It's part of the game. That's why I also don't want to keep going with Champion's Path after pulling three and also you know finally buying my Rainbow Rare. So that's also the, the, the current status that I'm sitting with. Nothing. Zygarde and Zygarde. Beautiful. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave it up to you guys after I do this batch of packs and the next batch of packs of 50. Uh, and if we end up... If I don't pull the rainbow and I really want to keep going, I might. But honestly, put it this way. In the next couple of days, IRL for me, I don't expect myself to buy more packs. I hope I don't at least. <laughs> I actually hope I don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's be real. By the time I'm done editing all three of these videos, I'm probably going to buy more. Uh, nah, no, I won't. Yeah, well, no, I won't. That's how my life is. It's like I, I, I make a decision one day and then it changes literally the next day. Hey, guess what, folks? You're allowed to change your decision, in case you didn't know. I'm starting to pull all the uh, hits right now. The first half of the, uh, or the first batch of the packs, I was literally getting nothing outside the Rainbow Ray of Pierce. And then after that, it was like nothing else. But can we get some more? Let's get a let's get a shiny Charizard while we're at it, because it seems to be a lot easier to pull that than the rainbow. At least from what I've seen. It's weird because I believe that the shiny Charizard is worth more. I believe more people want that, especially with the um, the shiny Gigantamax V Max being announced. People probably want the shiny more in, in general. Um, but I feel like I pulled I like I my luck with the shiny was just that much more ridiculous than it is on average with uh, a rainbow. And uh, while that's cool and all, I still would love to at least get one. The other reason why I ended up buying one, by the way, is because I know that if I finally do pull a Rainbow Charizard, I bet you the condition on it will be like super off center or something. And then if you get that graded and see that come back as like what you, you ever once a 10, comes back like a nine or eight, it's like, that would hurt. That would absolutely hurt. And uh, I'd rather not go through that. Scrafty, a spirit animal. Okay, Let's see what we got. We have five packs left to go. I think we can get uh, another big hit out of these five, six, six packs. I hope. I hope so. Let's see what we got. Is there anything back here? Nothing. Just a scented scorch. There's a code card. There's a code card. Okay, we have five more packs. If we get even one more, one more hit, even if it is like just a regular, like a V card, I think that'd be great. I think that'd be good ratio right there. I like how random it is. Like the the first batch had like nothing, then you all all of a sudden hit all the uh, the V cards in the middle, and then uh, you go back to just pulling regular hollows, and then you finish up with like one more big hit at the end. While it's kind of all over the place, I would still at least just try to get one more big thing, and then we we'll call it a day. Anything back here? Nope, just a lycan rock once again. There you go. See, so yeah, at least uh, you know I said this with uh, hidden fates. At least the beauty of hidden fates is when you open that. You always got shinies to look forward forward to. And here, all I literally have to look forward to is uh, it's just Charizard. Charizard, Charizard, and Charizard. There's nothing in here as well, right? I don't think there is. I would have seen the shine on, on the side. Nope, just another... God, how many Lycan rocks did we get? Can someone count? I guess I can go through and edit it and count it myself, but uh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> last pack. Let's see if we can get one last big hit out of the last pack. Let me actually make sure I don't cheat and look at the sides. See if we can end it on one last big hit. Is it possible? No, we cannot. Of course, this is Machamp. I was going to say Lycan Rock, but Machamp was actually the one that was in the back of my mind. All right. This one, uh, not as good. I mean, I got a decent amount of V cards. Uh, I pulled, what, four, yeah, four full arts, and then we got the Rainbow Pierce for like the 80th time. It's like, stop it with this card. But all right. The last opening's coming up. 50 packs. What I want you guys to do is predict... What's in that batch of packs? Let's see who guesses it. Have some fun with that one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.